Hey guys, I'm John Setzler. Welcome back to the Man Cave Party Deck for another episode of Man Cave Mules. Today, we're going to fire up the Kamado Joe Classic and we're going to use some of these nice, beautiful summer tomatoes to make a tomato pie. So let's get started. And the next thing I'm going to do is get my Kamado Joe Classic 3 fired up. Uh, I'm going to light a fire in the center of the firebox here. And I'm going to use the slow roller. If you're not using a slow roller, just use your heat deflectors in the low position. And I'm going to set both halves of the grill grate in the low position here on the divide and conquer flexible cooking rack. And then we'll close the lid. I'm going to close the slider on the top vent to about halfway, and I'm going to use the I command to bring the temperature of the grill up to about 425 degrees. The first step we want to take in this project is to get a pie crust ready. This is a tomato pie. It's going to be a little damp, so you're going to want to do one of two things. You're either going to want to buy a pre-cooked pie crust or you're going to want to set up your pie crust and par bake it first, which is what I've done here. I used a grocery store uh, Pillsbury brand pie crust, and I baked it at 425 for about 10 minutes or so to give this a head start. So we're starting with a pre-baked crust. The next thing I'm going to do is get my cheese topping ready, and I'm going to start out in a mixing bowl here with a half a cup of mayonnaise and about a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. And I'm going to put maybe a half a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. And then I'm going to put just a dash of Tabasco sauce in there as well. I've got a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, a quarter of a teaspoon of freshly, freshly cracked black pepper, about a half a cup of grated Parmesan, and about a cup of grated extra sharp cheddar. And I'm just going to stir this up and get this completely combined. And then I'm going to put a plastic wrap on the top of it. And then we're going to toss it back in the refrigerator while we're getting everything else ready. The next thing I've done here is I've taken about two and a half pounds of tomatoes. And I've sliced them up. And I'm going to drizzle just a little bit of olive oil on top of those. And then we're going to hit them with some salt and a little bit of freshly cracked black pepper and then we're going to take these to the grill okay i'm going to set these tomatoes on the grill we're going to let these guys roast on here for about 20 minutes and then we'll be back okay we've been going about 20 minutes here these look perfect so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to take those off and I'm going to set my pie crust back on here, and I've put about a quarter of a cup or so of grated cheese in there. We're going to give this about five minutes to melt that cheese. Okay, we've been going about five minutes on that. That cheese is melted up enough. We're going to take this off, set it aside, and let it cool. I've reduced the grill temperature on the I-Command down to 350 to let the grill cool down a little bit. And we're going to give this pie crust and these tomatoes about 20 minutes to cool before we assemble this pie. We're going to start putting this pie together. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sprinkle some uh, crumbled cooked bacon on the bottom of this. And then we're going to get about half of our tomatoes layered in there. And once those are in, I'm going to sprinkle on some sliced shallots. And then we're going to add the rest of our tomatoes back. And after we have our second layer of tomatoes on there, we're going to sprinkle the rest of these diced shallots in place. And then we're going to take our cheese topping mixture and we're going to spread that evenly all the way across the top of this pie. And then I had three little slices of tomato left, so I went ahead and set that on top. And I've got some freshly chopped basil that's going to go on top of this and then we're going to sprinkle on just a little bit more of that crumbled cooked bacon and now this guy is ready to go back to the grill okay now that we have it put together we're going to set it 
in the middle of the grill. I'm not sure exactly how long this is going to take to cook, so we'll be back to have a look at it in 30 minutes or so. Okay guys, we've been going right out about 30 minutes. And I'm going to call this thing ready. It's uh, bubbling around the edges, bubbling in the middle, starting to brown up nicely. So what I'm going to do next is we're going to take this guy off the grill. I'm going to tint it with foil and we're going to let that cool for about 20 minutes. Okay guys, after resting this pie for about 20 minutes, she is ready to slice and serve. You're definitely going to have to give this one a try. Let me know what you think. Join me on Facebook, facebook.com slash mancavemeals, where we post a lot of additional content every week. And until next time, this is John Setzler with Man Cave Meals.